It's about 7.45 in the morning and we're driving to the North County Food Bank to go shopping for our weekly visit. my job to shepherd these things across, but it's really like the students doing the work, you know? My name is Isabel. My major is human development, but then emphasis in health. Right now I work at SHARP. I'm a um, registration at SHARP. I'm part of the LGBT community. Um, last year, unfortunately, my family found out and they didn't take it that well. And my partner's family didn't take it that well either. So we decided to move in together. So I just live with my partner. So when I got home with food, we were excited because we had the food. Guess how much all this food costs? It was $35. We're students and we are spending a lot of money in school. <laughs> many of us are parents, many of us are commuters. For us to be struggling for food, when we have that opportunity to get it for free. If a student is struggling to keep full or healthy meals on the table, then they probably aren't focusing on their academics well. In 2016, CSUSM participated in a survey and found that about half of the students surveyed were not sure when or where they would be able to get their next healthy and nutritious meal, or they were skipping meals because they couldn't afford to purchase food. Serving as a student voice and representation on our campus, the ASI Board of Directors knew that they had to take action. They introduced a resolution for an on-campus food pantry open to all of our cougars, and the rest is history. In preparation for the pantry's opening, we launched the campaign Bite Out Hunger in order to educate our campus community about food insecurity, as well as ask our campus partners for help in combating this issue. It's about telling our students that we believe in them, that there are members of our community who want to support them and want to help them in their success. Thank you so much for all your help, your support, for giving some food to my house. Honestly, this is one of the best things in school, so continue giving and students, more students are going to benefit from it. We would love to live in a larger space and have a larger fridge. Right now we have to shop twice a week because we run out of food so quickly because we don't have any extra storage. Last year we received $2,800 to support the ASI Cougar Pantry. Today on Giving Day, we're asking you to open up your heart once again to fight food insecurity.